Hey everyone, I just wanted to share a quick experience I had with you all. I went to Carolina Shooting Supply and ordered a Tabuk flash hider for a build I was doing. And when I got the flash hider in, I went to the parts kit, and this is just the parts kit, this is just the barrel and a trunnion. I went to thread the flash hider on, and you'll notice that the detents are just pushing the plunger in. And obviously this isn't really going to work very well. So, I called Carolina Shooter Supply and gave them my order number and talked to either the owner or a manager, someone high up, and they were asking me what they could do to make it work and asked me how many different rifles I had tried this on. And because they, they had no idea, they, the guy told me that uh, it worked perfect on their C39V2. And I just said, okay, well... Those aren't uh, those aren't really military spec, but I understand. Okay, and he asked me what they could do, and I told him if they could uh, lessen the circumference of where the detents get milled into the flash hider, they could reduce that distance. It would work fine, and it isn't Carolina Shooter Supplies' fault, as far as I know. The you know place that they had make these up either didn't follow the blueprints or the blueprints were wrong. So. Uh, we had talked about what uh, what he wanted us wanted to do, and I said, "Well, you can just credit my account, and I can just punch five you know D10 slots into this little closer to the center of the diameter." And they said, "Okay." And after about a month and a half, I still didn't receive any uh, any refund, and uh, I gave him another call, and I talked to another gentleman, very polite, and he said he's just going to send another one out, and I should just send the other one back. I said, "Okay, that's fine." Well, it finally came in. Here's the new one. You can see. If we can get it to focus, that the detents, if it wants to focus, are a little deeper. And because they're deeper, obviously they're a little wider. So let's see if this threads on the barrel. We're going to throw it on there. Looks good. Let's see how deep we can go here. And now we can see that the plunger isn't being pushed in by the detent. That isn't wasn't drilled deep enough. And there you go. Our detent is into the flash hider fully. It's got a nice feel to it. Just a tiny bit of shake, tiny bit of wiggle room. Awesome. Nice and tight. I'm happy with it. Um, when they did send this, they did not send a return label. So I guess I'm out shipping for returning the other one back. I guess. Um, I realize it's not Carolina Shooter Supplies' fault, um, but it's also not the customer's fault either, so that's a little interesting. You'll see the depth on this one, looking at about uh, 72 thousandths, 0 0.072. So, that's, uh, that's my experience. We'll see uh, what happens in the future. But I just wanted to share this with you. If you guys happen to get one of the original old ones in and just happen to throw it in, the, you know, in, in your parts kit, you know, getting waiting for it to get built, um, you might want to check to see how deep these detent slots are, these plunger slots, um, to make sure that you got one that can work because, you know, not all of us have the means to make the, uh, the holes bigger like on the ones that they just sent out. So anyhow, you guys have a good day. Remember, be safe and have fun out on the range. I'll talk to you later.